Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're gonna be turning the clock back a little bit and doing a previous style of video that I used to do here on the channel all the time. And that is an old style of clothing haul. And the reason for that being is because I am a sucker for a good deal. As such, I arrived today to an office with a ton of boxes outside, that of which I just unboxed and gave a look at through the mon kind of went over them. And with that, I will have them linked in the description below for your viewing pleasure. But just before we jump into the first garment and whether it's good or not, I did want to remind you to join this month's sneaker giveaway. As you may or may not already know, every month I do a sneaker giveaway and the sneaker of this month is the newly released Jordan 1 UNC toe. And all you need to do to be eligible is like today's video, comment your Instagram handle down below, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and be following me on Instagram at Paul Fuentebella. Now, keep in mind you need to follow these instructions for every video I upload this month, which is give or take six to eight videos, which were uploaded between the dates of July 15th to August 15th on which day I will be announcing the giveaway winner on my Instagram stories. Best of luck to everybody. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the first pickup. First pickup of the day is this beautiful satin powder blue hat by Rude. This hat does look really, really nice in hand and you've got some nice clean embroidery out front depicting the name of the designer or the brand rather, Rude. Um, I do like this hat quite a lot but at the retail price of, I think it was like 220 bucks. It's a little bit steep, but on Saks Fifth Avenue, it was marked down to a hundred bucks. And then they actually sent an email over to me as well as everybody else who's on their mailing list with a 20% discount on all designer goods. And I actually just looked on the site and it's been marked down once again, down to $72. I'm not sure on whether or not if uh, the 20% off code still works, but 20% off into 72, what is that? So seven times 14, $14 off. That's 58 bucks for this nice rude hat comprised of satin. I love the color. And uh, the reason why I like a satin hat is because it just kind of breaks up the monotony of cotton and it adds a little bit of shine to an outfit. Also coming from that same sale is a few different flannels. This first one comes from All Saints. You got that nice shadow plaid with a subtle logo hit out front. I do find that it fits a uh, pretty relaxed overall for a size medium that normally goes for 175 retail was marked down to 100 code applied it was $80 out the door not too bad for a nice quality flannel next up is another collared shirt from all saints and this time in the short sleeve variety this one's going to have a nice level of breathability i can easily opt to wear something like this during these warmer months of summer because of the nature of the fabric it feels really nice to the touch all saints does a pretty good job with their quality if i don't say so myself it does fit relaxed it's cut to fit relaxed so uh, that's something to take into account if you do end up picking one of these up i did size to medium and for sizing reference, I'm 5'7 and weigh about 165-ish pounds. It was on sale for $89 from 150. And then I applied the code, which got it for 70 bucks. This final one is also from All Saints and probably is uh, my only regretted purchase. Or maybe the next one as well. I'm still kind of on the fence. But anyways, I digress. I just don't like how this one fits. Uh, it's very, very tight in the arms, even though it is deemed a relaxed fitting overcoat. And so for that reason, uh, I wouldn't suggest this one. The retail on it was 275, but with the sale and the code applied, I ended up paying 74 bucks for it. So killer deal, but unfortunately it just doesn't fit right. So it's gonna be going back. And last from this order is this APC Buffalo check over shirt really really great quality the wool on the exterior is truly very impressive as you probably come to expect from apc they make good stuff retail on this piece is 400 bucks i ended up paying 140 i believe so it's a, it's a really great deal and i was really wanting to love this but yeah if it doesn't fit right it just doesn't fit right next up we've got a pair of adidas gazelle indoor 
if you guys hadn't gotten a chance to check out my full review video on this model go ahead and check that out as it is an awesome alternative to that of the gucci collaboration as you can see here i did opt for this beautiful i don't know sunflower yellow colorway that is adorned with some burgundy hits in my opinion i do find this sneaker to be just really aesthetically pleasing and should get a lot of wear from me through the duration of the rest of the summer well into fall this is very fire colorway overall but just like uh, with all indoor versions of the gazelle you've got elevated level of suede just really really soft hairy suede you've got uh, the elevated tongue which does feature the trifoil monogram and you've just got premium leather hits on the inside as well as having that nice translucent gum sole very very fire shoe in my opinion a little side note i do think uh, the woman's version of the indoor is a little bit cheaper i want to say this one was 120 whereas the male version is 150. Next, I picked up a brand new Alix backpack from Essence. They have an awesome sale going on right now. And uh, yeah, just a beautiful backpack overall. I think retail on this one is $1,200. I paid nowhere near that, obviously, because of the sale. I wanna say it was 450 out the door. I like this backpack because it's very, very subtle in nature. You've got very minimal branding on the front of it and then when you have it on your shoulders or whatever uh, you have uh, that nice detail of the clasp or the roller coaster or seat belt style clasp very very subtle way of expressing that it is a higher tier backpack without you know people actually knowing it's an expensive backpack so yeah i thought this would be cool uh, to just add to my rotation i suppose my one gripe about this backpack is the fact that it doesn't fit my 15 inch macbook pro also from the essence sale is another piece from a leaks this time around it is a button down it is comprised of nylon it's two pieces of nylon where it does have the uh, buttons concealed it's very very subtle and i just love the design language of the two pieces i picked up because again um unless you kind of know uh, matthew williams and the leaks then you won't know that there's anything really that special about this button down but yeah uh, it fits awesome i size to a size extra small uh, so take that into account uh, if you guys are going to pick this piece up originally priced at 500 dollars, i paid 300 for this shirt and i absolutely 100 percent uh do not regret this purchase at all i really really love uh, this shirt next up i got a nice little package from the kind folks at minimal if you guys are not familiar with them uh, they essentially make affordable options of the latest trends and they stay up to par in quality and uh, if you guys are interested in anything in this little haul um go ahead and use my code paul at checkout but yes i do have a pair of shorts on that is actually from the package they sent over just a, a cool pair of jorts got a nice little workwear aesthetic and uh, this pair should be easy uh, to decide to throw on with just about everything and i'm actually wearing these shorts in the b-roll uh, through a lot of different uh, outfits in today's video next up i did get a few of these linen button down shirts very very fire they have a cam collar out front and is comprised of 100 cotton that is super super breathable um, i do find that it fits somewhat oversized which um, i didn't expect um, so i probably wish i got a size small here i'm wearing a medium again 5'7 165 um, it does come in black as well as cream and brown all of which in my opinion are very very clean also got a few sweatpants first in this contrasting panel variety you've got uh, contrasting panels here on the out seam as well as on the inseam to achieve this stacked as well as flared cut it also does feature paint throughout and has a bit of a vintage wash to them got another pair of flare sweatpants but this time these are just very simple in an all gray colorway these are just going to be an essential pair of sweatpants to wear just about anything whether it's around the house going to the movies and i just want to remain comfortable another great pair of brushed fleece sweatpants from minimal again went with a size small find that fits very very nicely for the last piece from minimal i got these really dope utility cargos very fear of god-esque so if you guys are looking for an alternative to i believe it was from sixth collection 
uh, those utility cargos that they dropped, go ahead and check these out. They fit very, very similar. They feel amazing. Like the weight on them and like, I guess the texture of the cotton used is very, very quality. For the price point, you just can't beat it. And I love how these fit. So if you're looking for the aesthetic, but don't want to pay that price, check these out. Highly, highly uh, suggest. And they also come in a few other colorways as well. All right, because we don't gatekeep here, these are going to be the absolute best wife lover or ribbed tank tops that money can buy from a value perspective. They are a little bit pricier than your standard like Target tank tops, rib tank tops, if you will, but they are so, so good. Uh, this is what's known as the slim tank top from Cause Stores. These things fit incredible. Like they make me look so much cooler than I actually am. And I'm so grateful for that. So Cause, thank you for coming correct with the rib tank tops. The quality is excellent. They always uh, stretch back to their normal form. Don't sleep on these. These are truly, truly excellent. I'll have a link below to where you can find them sizing i'm wearing a size medium and find that it fits just great so yeah got a couple of these all right so next up we've got an acne studios jacket this is what's known as the double wool jacket and right off the top dude this jacket is absolutely beautiful it's construction uh it's color in my opinion i know it's a little bit loud for some of you guys out there um unfortunately there's one big factor as to why I cannot keep this jacket and it's because it fits not the best. But with that being said, it was a $1,200 jacket. I paid $450 for it. And if you guys are familiar with Acne, they, they make such good clothes, man. And um, yeah, I just really wish this thing fit me. Next up, we've got another jacket from Acne Studios. I think I purchased one from Nordstrom, original retailing at $1,200. It went down all the way. I think it was 450 if I'm not mistaken. But man, the color of this jacket is gorgeous. You have the nice big logo on the back there. And again, unfortunately, this thing fits absolutely gargantuous. Like, honestly, it totally engulfs my body, rendering me uh, to just looking like uh, one of those, I don't know, like one of those guys uh, in the Kanye little pop song. Um, you guys know that song, it's, it's a bad song, so I'm not gonna say it, but um, I just look like a like a puffball or blueberry or something. Yeah, it's just so sick, man. You got the darting on the sleeves, uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous color. Uh, the quality is just impeccable. And uh, this is a size extra small, which I don't know, uh, just is beyond me. Next, we have another pair of footwear from the kind folks over at Collegium. You guys rock with the channel then you know i am a huge fan of the footwear that they produce for a myriad of reasons first being made in italy they're handcrafted comprised of insane quality using the highest level of fabrics and this pair here is no exception these are the collegium pillar trail as you can see it does have that trail style of lacing as well as the uh, more rugged outsole hence the name trail and pillar coming from the fact that the upper is reminiscent of the pillar uh, sneaker from Collegium as well. With regard to sizing on this shoe, I suggest sizing down. I'm generally size eight and a half to nine. These here are 41, which equates to a US eight. So go ahead and use me for reference. This is such a clean sneaker. Shout out to Nick. I love what you do, brother. I'm so proud of you. Seeing each and every release get better and better is really encouraging. And uh, just keep flourishing, man. Uh, keep up the good work. I love the shoes. For the last piece of today's video, we're gonna end things how we started it. And uh, we've got here a silk rude button down camp collar shirt. It's 100% silk. Feels very, very nice to the touch, but it does have a few flaws. First and foremost, uh, upon receiving this, opening it up, um, it has a few loose threads. I try to pull on the threads, tug on them a little bit, and it is loosening other threads. So um, that's a bit of a, a, a bummer because uh, retail on this piece is a thousand bucks. I didn't pay a thousand. Now, do I suggest this shirt? I mean, at the price, I'm gonna say no, but um, that's also taken into account uh, that I am gonna keep it. So um, 
do with that information what you may. I guess uh, indifference is where I land. All right, and so that is going to do it for today's haul. I'd like to thank you so much for continuing to come back to the channel to support. It is my privilege to get to serve you through making content. And as always, I'll see you again in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.